Hello YouTube, and recently I picked up a couple of Xbox 360 controllers for a really great price, but the problem with them is that the condition on them isn't exactly perfect. So I figured what I could do is I'll start by doing a controller mod where I'll add in custom Chinese buttons, and then we'll come back and do a controller chaos on these custom Chinese buttons and tell you guys whether or not they're any good. So let's get started on the modification part of this video. All right, so in order to begin the mod and the teardown and everything, you're going to need a couple things. So the first thing is a T8 torque screwdriver. These are pretty cheap, so you should be able to get one for pretty cheap, hopefully. A Phillips screwdriver. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's the one with the cross design. You're going to need your buttons, of course. And this is optional, but I really recommend this, and that's some new uh, contact pads. So, in order to begin the process, what you're going to do is you're going to open up the back of the controller, take the battery pack out, and so originally there's a sticker you have to remove. You remove that sticker and then you remove the torque screw that's right here. So let me just do that. One sec. I've already partially removed it. All right. And then normally you would uh, go through and remove the other six, but I have thinking ahead already done that so now we can in theory just pull apart the controller okay one sec uh, all right I'm gonna do the pull apart off camera so that way it doesn't take too long so I'll be right back all right so as you guys can tell I have done the pull apart so now I have the back shell of my controller all to myself so I can go in ahead and wash and clean that, you know, get that looking all good. And then, so, once uh, the back shell is pulled apart, you can now do a couple things. So, you can remove this side plate. So, I've never done this before, so I'm actually kind of nervous to do it. But, to my understanding, you just pull off these three spots right here. Then it clips off, I believe. Uh, I might be wrong. Uh, so once again, I'm going to do this off camera. So that way it, it, you know, it, it doesn't take me like 40 minutes. So I'll be right back. All right. So I got my plate off. You pretty much just pull up on it, like I said. So then here, I believe we can just take the board off. Uh, oh, man. Oh, this is... Feels really well kept in there. Um, I'm not missing any screws, am I? Nope. Okay. No. So. Okay. So. So now we could take the board off if I can get the board off. So, one sec. I'm gonna do another cut. Sorry about all the cuts, but till when we come back, the board will be off. All right. So as you guys can see, I got the board out. So as a bit of a tip, you can push up on the two thumbsticks, and that'll help it pop out um, in case your board is stuck like mine. Uh, so now I'm just going to remove the buttons and everything from this one sec. So you know the contact pad. Uh, oh man, my my A button. No, my B button was stuck in there. So then next, this is, you're going to remove your D-pad. So the D-pad, I don't know if you guys can see this, it's very small screws that are holding that in there. So what you're going to do, you know, this is where you take your super precision, super small screwdriver, put that in there, and you know, you just unscrew those screws hopefully I don't strip the screws <laughs> um yeah so I'm gonna do this off screen so that way I don't strip them so I'll be right back all right so unfortunately enough I don't know how well this may show up on camera let me unzoom this uh, yeah I don't know how well this will show up on camera but um 
The screws on this are kind of stripped, um, unfortunately. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, sometimes when you're working with smaller, you know, screws like this, sometimes they will uh, strip, and it kind of sucks because there's really not very much I can do about it now. So now I'm just going to have a gray D-pad on my 360 controller. So that sucks. But um, nonetheless, though, I'm going to go wash both my shells because, as you can tell, they're kind of dirty. And then we're going to go about putting on the buttons and stuff like that. So I'll be back after this cut. Alright, so now that we have the uh, shell and everything cleaned, now we can start taking about, apart the shoulder buttons. So the first thing you might want to do is take off the rumble pads, believe it or not. Uh, it makes this whole process easier. So to take them off, you're just going to pull up on them like that. Um, I think I might actually leave the rumble pads off of my controller because I don't really care for rumble. I know that probably sounds weird, but you know, uh, another thing to make this a bit easier is take off these nasty old thumbsticks. Again, this is a huge part of the reason why we're replacing our buttons and stuff. So, <clears throat> it's to my understanding what you do in order to, uh, Replace the thumbsticks, it, or the arch, the uh, the uh, left trigger and right trigger. Ugh, I don't know why I blanked so hard right there. Is you pull up and push down on this. So uh, I'm going to attempt that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do one off camera because I'm going to need a quick reference sheet because uh, I've never actually taken apart Xbox 360 controller before just as a spoiler to you guys in case you couldn't tell before. So I'm gonna do the first one off camera and then show you guys what I did to take it apart. So I'll be right back. Okay, so sorry about uh, the last cut, but so as you guys can tell, I got the new left trigger and right triggers installed on the controller. And so the way how you do this is basically enough, you just pull back on this and then this will go completely flat and then you pull up on the uh, trigger and then the spring will come out and everything. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, granted, I had to look up a video on how to do it, ironically enough, but yeah though, so super simple process. Um, so now that we have the left and right triggers installed, we can now take our new thumbsticks and put those on there so it's just putting thumbsticks on the controller on the thumbstick placement so you just gotta kinda like mess with these for a second until you get the cutout right so it should just pop right in there ah. oh my gosh oh okay there we go alright so yep that's uh that's in there all the way. Then we're gonna just do that for the second one. I'll do that off screen, so I'll be right back. All right, so we have both of the thumbsticks on there now. So now we can start reassembling our controllers, which aren't dry yet. <laughs> so once these things are actually dry, uh, once our shells are actually dry, we'll start reassembling the controllers. So I'll be right back in, I don't know, a couple minutes. Alright, so my shell is finally dry enough to where I can start putting on my pads and everything. My dogs are fine in the background. So basically enough, we're just going to reassemble this as we did in the beginning. So I'm just going to jump to it being reassembled. Alright, so this is how the mod looks overall after everything's been reassembled and whatnot. As you can tell, I got her looking really good. She looks pretty much as good as new now. And... You know, I'm just really impressed with how this looks. But as you guys know, looks don't matter if it doesn't function well. So join me for the next part where I'll be actually reviewing these Chinese uh, Xbox 360 uh, controller buttons and whatnot. And, you know, if you like this video, like it down below, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, all that wonderful stuff. Have a wonderful day slash night whenever you're watching this YouTube and peace.